So does this mean you, you don't do anything right now? I think, oh, no. not. I think no. you still move forward. Here, here's the scary point about being in the multifamily space. You know, if you buy a deal, you probably want to be in that deal for about seven years. So um, if I buy a deal today and, you know, even if cap rates go from a five to a four on that deal between now and 2023, um, they're still going to go back up after 2023. I'm still, you know, I'm going to be on the other side of it. So I'm going to, the cash flow is going to slow down. Um, so you just have to know how to balance it. And one of the things that I would say, because what I did, one of the things I did wrong when I was syndicating deals was I didn't raise enough money. Make sure you have enough money raised and you keep some money in reserves so you can weather a storm. See, there was a problem. I owned all that real estate and I would buy real estate at 70% occupied, value add stuff, re-engineer it, put more people in it get the occupancies to 90%, but then the market got wiped out. All those people moved out. So we went from 90 back to 65, 70%. I didn't have money to weather the storm in the space. You know, you underwrite a deal typically at a 20% vacancy, economic and physical. And then, um, but that we dropped below 20% on occupancy. So there was not enough cash to weather that space in between. So just make sure that today when you're in your underwriting and when you're raising money that you raise enough to weather that storm if it falls. So, and the other comment that I want to make, you know, you talked about A-class deals, more expensive deals, high rents of $2,000. When I was syndicating before, we would never look at an A-class deal because the cap rates were 4%. Those were for the insurance companies and the hedge funds that, that paid a coupon to their investor and their investor could clip a coupon at 3% and the hedge fund make a percent and everybody was happy all day long, right? Because there was no repairs and no maintenance. Today, everything's at a, at a three, four, five percent cap rate. Everything is so equal that it, at, at some level, the thought process is, well, why don't I buy an A? because I don't have the maintenance issues, right? The problem that I foresee, and you said it, was the rent is 2000 okay? So, and I'm, a lot of them are more than that, Chris, right? So, but is that guy at 2000 gonna stay there or is, is the guy at 1500 or 1200 more likely to stay there than the upper guy? So now you have to decide which which place to spend your time in again is is better quality so is it, i hope that I, you get that i know you do i hope your listeners don't do though so yeah it, it's a really good perspective if all things are equal right now and you know you got the same cap rate on a a class as you do a b class or even a you know maybe even a c class and a c class and a b is going to have significantly more maintenance and more problems and tenant calls than an a class but in a recessionary or maybe even depressionary period, the question comes with the A class, if all things equal, will that tenant be able to maintain that level of rent during that economic downturn? And, you know, do they keep their jobs? Do they lose their jobs? Are they able to support that? That's where I think the problem comes in is if you have A class, it might be equal to the C, so you probably should buy the A with less maintenance. But if you had to drop your rent by 20 or even 30%, would your property still be stabilized? And I would be likely and probably pretty accurate to say the answer would be no. Whereas the lower class, you know, maybe it's 800 to 1200, you know, give or take the market that you're in, in terms of rents, those tenants are more likely to be able to maintain that. And even if they're not, the people that were in the A's are gonna move down to the B's, the B's move down to the C's. So the, the lower, the, you know, down the chain you go, the more stable, that property will be. We saw that in 2008. Actually, I think if, if I'm correct, and you would know this more than me, but B's and C's actually went up the rent roll, and you know the property values dropped, but the rent rolls, I think, definitely in C's went up. 